Good afternoon everyone. First of all, I would like to say thank you to Econ Arcade 2021. My name is Rizvan and I am representing the research team with the research title A Study on Museum Artifact Digitization Using Photogrammetry Method for Preservation and Design Education. The research team consists of three members, Dr. Arianti Ayu Puspita from Historical and Socioculture Design Studies, Industrial Design Department, di Institute of Technology Bandung, Marina Triharini from Historical and Socioculture Design Studies, Industrial Design Department, Institute of Technology Bandung, and me, Muhammad Rizvan Badru Salam from Human and Industrial Product Design Research Group, Industrial Design Department, Institute of Technology Bandung. Without further ado, please let me begin the presentation with a brief question. Why preserving cultural artifacts? From prehistoric times until today, humans have used artifacts in their daily lives, starting from stone as a tool for hunting and cooking as nomadic human, then humans began a new civilization and life permanently as a farmer. Thus, hunting equipment turned into a farming equipment, therefore it can be said that artifacts appear as human needs. Cultural artifacts are also part of civilization, and it's also become the nation's identity. For example, Indonesia has kebaya as traditional clothing, Japanese has kimono, and so on. Tacit knowledge is an insight that cannot be explained directly. Sometimes, tacit knowledge is passed down from generation to generation, such as the ability to, to weave, carve, farm, dance, and so on. Knowledge of artifacts and cultural values can influence the creative process in design. Physical character of artifacts and cultural values will provide cognitive simulation in students' creative thinking process. Digitization of artifacts in Indonesia still not much done. Documentation of artifacts is still limited to physical objects. Traditional artifacts documentation can be source of data for students in assessing the cultural values of society. Through 3D dimensional data, students are expected to be able to learn about shapes, dimensions, materials, artifacts textures, and manufacturing techniques. The level of Indonesian culture diversity is the highest in the world. Unfortunately, this also makes it very vulnerable to extinction if there is no mechanism that can support conservation. Indonesia is an archipelago that is full of wealth and diversity of culture, race, regional language, ethnicity, religion and beliefs, and many others. In other words, every inhabitant who inhabits different areas will naturally experience different geographical conditions. Thus, Geographical condition on the coast, plateau, rural areas in cities will have different cultures and artifacts. And the most important thing is that the Indonesian people have a history and dynamics of interaction between cultures long ago in terms of social culture. With a total of approximately 700 ethnic groups spread across the archipelago, with different types of community groups, diverse religions, traditional clothing, arts, traditional house, local language, custom, and even regional specialties. Database related to artifacts can be found in museums and online data, but only includes photographs of objects and a brief description of what the objects are. Here are three complete online sources of Indonesian artifacts until now. The most popular platforms are Data Pokok Kebudayaan by Indonesian Ministry of Education and Culture, and then we have budaya-indonesia.org by Indonesian Archipelago Cultural Initiative and then indonesiakaya.com by Bakti Budaya Jarum Foundation. In the study, we focus on West Java artifacts. West Java has tested knowledge and daily basis function. Almost all of the everyday objects are made from natural materials, one of which is bamboo woven objects. At present, the number of bamboo craftsmen in Tasikmalaya has begun to decrease. Not many young people want to continue the knowledge of the craftsmen. Therefore, Conservation of the woven bamboo process is needed. The intangible values contained in everyday objects of Sandinus people are respect the nature, farming knowledge, creativity, belief, way of life, and way of talking. These values give meaning to various types of everyday artifacts in West Java, for example, such as music instruments, traditional weapons, traditional toys, eating utensils, cooking utensils, etc. Sri Baduga Museum is an artifact museum located in West Java, the city of Bandung. The collection includes a collection of physical objects and books in the library. Sri Baduga's collection is divided into 10 types. The main focus on our research is on ethnographic types. The museum features various items related with the province of West Java such as Sandinese crafts, furnishings, geologic history, and natural diversity. 
the museum section divided into three. The first is public, and then they have special storage for valuable artifacts, and then special storage for other artifacts. Not all artifacts are displayed and displayed publicly. Most of the artifacts are still stored by the museum. The museum also has digital media, media tool like this, but has not been used yet. Scanning 3D object has been widely applied in archaeology field, especially related to visual studies and preservation efforts. 3D scan archaeological objects allow researchers to deepen their studies without having to stay in a very long period to study an object. It is also, at the same time, enriched the documented digital data in other form than photos and videos. 3D technology can be used to store, visualize, and disseminate the entire geometric and textural information of object for scholarly purpose, educational projects, and cultural resource management. The photogrammetry process involves taking overlapping photographs of an object, structure, or space and converting them into 3D or 2D digital models. Photogrammetry is often used by surveyors, architects, engineers, and contractors to create topographic maps, mazes, point clouds, or drawings based on the real world. This is a glimpse of scanning process documentation, and this is the layout of the equipment setting. We place the product on the center of the area on a rotating plate over here, and the rotating plate will rotate on specific angle each period. Between that period, the photographer must capture its position. And the product, the object supported by stable and fixed lighting on the right and the left side, and the camera facing the product. And these are several artifacts that being used for the case studies. The first is Bopoko Hoe. Bopoko Hoe is one of the Sri Baduga Museum collections from Sumedang. Boboko is a truncated cone that stretched up with a round surface made of rattan arrangement and reinforced by wangku in the form of diagonal braid motifs. Diagonal woven models show sacral elements. This one, this is actually a diagonal structure. Diagonal woven models show sacral elements as a third form of vertical, the sky element, and horizontal earth element. This object is a traditional kitchen equipment used as a rice container or for sending food. And this is the example of 3D scan result of Boboko Hoe. And then this is the example of ritual job from 14th century. Based on the result of scanning, the texture and character of the ceramic can be identified or informed. The color like this and the gradation of the jars are quite clear. Supported by the contours like this, we can see uh, there is a contour over here. The appear on the jar giving information on earthenware texture and the depth of the shape of the jar. Compared to the other artifacts that currently scanned, this object is the best construct. The 3D represent the actual shape, the gradient and texture mapped well and less clutter or unwanted part. This is the example of 3D scan result of ritual jug from 14th century. The third is Sundanese toys made from coconut leaves. Toys in the Sundanese ancient times occupy an important position. Even someone who has expertise in the game is aligned with other skills such as experts in rhymes, musical experts, forging experts, and etc. Huhurangan is made from woven yellow young coconut leaves and made to resemble an animal shape. The woven body part resembles shell section, which is similar to shrimp or grasshopper. Yang coconut leaves are used as the remainder of the completeness of the ceremony, selamatan, and making of coconut. In Sundanese society, many toys use natural materials from the surrounding environment such as leaves, stems, plants, and flowers. And the fourth is traditional weapon of West Java, which is kujang. The software detected the rotating plate as the part of object, make the constructed 3D model deformed and misshapen. This problem uh, maybe can be solved with further masking to the image, removing the green screen manually and overall to each 3D image. Or simply using another method, maybe by scanning the object with standing position, not late, in fixed machine. It has built-in supporting part that can hold the object on its place, but in this case, we can't use the machine because the limitation of size. Furthermore, the, ku the kujang contains small shiny material on its accent, which will cause flat construction since the shine material will reflect light, so there will be no shade on the highlight. 
some notes and further improvement for the scanning are light artifact need to be given talus or supporting structures hidden parts are sometimes not detected by software artifact with glossy surface will be difficult to scan because they will reflect light and not reflect back infrared rays that hit the, pro the object if the object moves slightly during the shooting process the precision will decrease human involvement is still needed to carry out refinement process especially in the process of masking each individual photo for example like eliminating tools choosing the boundaries of shadow etc algorithm in software require patterns strong lines and unique shapes in processing of object for educational purpose or explanation of product design JPEG files are still needed to provide specific details. And the research objectives are the long-term benefit is to describe a co-design methodology aiming to incorporate synthesis and co-create different kinds of knowledge in the design process. And the other objective is to propose the utilization of photogrammetric 3D scanning process in 3D digital data collecting for design education. And for the development, we can store, visualize, and disseminate the entire geometric and sectoral information of objects for scholarly purposes, educational projects, and cultural resource management. And the other development is to build main database for the storage of 3D digital data, including artifacts, the process making of artifacts, and intangible cultural heritage in Indonesia. On this slide, we can see the benefit of 3D scan result for the education. The first is we can understand the product's history or timeline and studying the aspects, including the interaction between products and humans, civilization phase, community status, and all of the current condition from the moment the product was made. By studying the past, designer not only avoiding and learn from the mistakes, but also analyze the nowadays design and project how the design will be constructed in the future. And second is the impacts not only affected to one specific and particular study program, but also covers very wide range of field study, inclusive of industrial design, product design, craft design, fashion, textile design, visual and communication design, special or interior design, architecture, digital design, even fine art. For example, ceramics, drawing, jewelry, metalwork, sculpture, weaving, etc. 3D scan result also can be used to define the shape material, details, and action, and other technical elements from product, object, or artifacts to be studied and developed further. For example, for history of design course, objects or relics that have been used by the past civilization are one of several important points in historical studies. Before touching or seeing the physical objects, or even if the products are not available, for example, extinct or vanished, the scanning result will, will be very useful and impactful for the study process. And the second example, for material and process course, the artifact digitization process not only provides the shape and details for the object, but also texture, depth, including the color from the scan product. With this capability, the 3D scan result will equip very much information about the material, production technique, joint system if there's any, even finishing for some specific artifacts. From this object, students or people can analyze how the production process happened in that era, the material that being used for the product, current technology and industrial achievement, etc. And the other example is digital modeling, digitization technique, image processing, vertex smoothing, visual refinement, and more other steps are closely related to this course. In the digital modeling course, photogrammetic and rapid prototyping are also taught which are very useful for digitization process. And the other course will be get the benefit from 3 d result as well. For the professional design impact, design not only affects in undergraduate study. On professional scope, design also plays an important role and the contribution of 3D scanning shows advantage in many aspects. For example, Tokyo National Research Institute for Cultural Properties also use digital 3D scanning method to preserve cultural properties from several heritage around the world, including craftswork, historic buildings, as well as intangible cultural properties. We can look here, the picture shows a photogrammetic surface from producing 3D data at Tanay Temple, Cambodia, and a 3D model technique to inspect past restoration works of outdoor monuments. Through research, restoration projects, and capacity development, it contributes to the protection of cultural properties of the world. Then, we came up with the conclusion that traditionally, designers would make a physical model made from papers, clay, plastics, wood, and many other materials to represent their design concept and ideas. However, 
model making process have been developed rapidly in line with advancement in technology. 3D scanner capable of collecting various visual data that construct digital 3D model, for example, color, texture, details, and accurate dimension, including 3D digital data. 3D modeling of artifacts has becoming the best solution to replace the conventional two-dimensional documentation, especially when very complex and irregular objects are to be documented. Through 3D digital data of artifacts, designers can understand the value content in the shape, function, and material of artifacts. Therefore, 3D digital data is an important part of the design process. Finally, we came to an end of this presentation. Once again, we would like to say thank you for the opportunity to present this topic. Good afternoon.